Level 89, a bold decision. Grail has urgent news. I trust you've had a good rest. An envoy of Master Fortunals arrived not long ago with a message. The Loperates have determined Metion's location. We've been asked to gather at the Rostra. I'll meet you there along with the others. Everyone appears to be present and accounted for. Good. As you know, the Loperates have deduced the whereabouts of Metion by means of a crystal bequeathed to us by Heidelin herself. The quarry's location is a place far beyond the moon in the farthest reaches of the Sea of Stars at the edge of creation. A veritable Ultima Thule. Indeed, then how are we to reach it? An excellent question. Luckily for you, I have an equally excellent answer. In theory, with its advanced propulsion systems, the moon is capable of delivering you to Ultimate Thule, but the myriad other facilities housed within would greatly impede travel through the Sea of Stars. Even the Mother Crystal may not possess ether enough to bear so massive a vessel to our destination and back. However, if we integrate our Hyper Hopper into your ether burner, we should be able to fire things up and jump our way to the end of the universe in no time. Father, does this mean... Bear in mind this decision was not made solely at my discretion, but with the consent of the Forum. Hearing the Lopret's proposal, the Forum was faced with a grave decision. Commit the Ark to this endeavor would mean abandoning both our plans to evacuate to the moon and to resettle on another star. Needless to say, the proposition invited fierce debate. In the end, however, the Forum was swayed by the simple fact that Heidelin believed you possessed the strength needed to overcome this crisis. Great Exodus was, after all, plan of Heidelin's own making. Therefore, if in the eleventh hour she would proffer another means by which we may seek salvation, we would be fools to dismiss it out of hand. Indeed, she sacrificed everything, her very existence, to avert the destruction of this star. That is why we have chosen to place our faith in Heidelin. In you, the Ark will be made ready for your voyage to Ultima Thul. The Thule or Thul? But of all the people that have labored so tirelessly to prepare for the evacuation, they must be furious. I would not be so sure. They have not forgotten your deeds on the Magna Glockies. Nor did your instrumental role in orchestrating the delivery of Adamantite go unnoticed. No, the people do not protest. Quite the contrary. They have expressed unwavering support for you and your mission. Are the Loperates too willing to abandon the accidents? Were you not listening when we said we were born of Heidelin's love for Aetherus and its people? If it means your survival, we would do anything to help. You'll most certainly have the need of our expertise where you're going. There's no guarantee Ultima Thule is a place that supports life, an otherwise vexing problem or know-how can remedy. Besides, Hadlin chose us to lead the way to Metion. Why else would she give you the crystal only we can decipher? More importantly, we were perfectly content to evacuate Aetherus until you brought us here, Rianje, and now we're enamored with the place, so what choice do we have but to save it? Of course, none of this is possible without you and the Scion, so I must ask, are you certain you wish to do this? You couldn't stop us if you tried. We'll avert the final days, whatever it takes. Well, we've come this far. <laughs> Very well, we shall inform the forum of your decision and begin preparations to bolster the Ark with the, uh, Hyper Hopper. 
Laparitz will coordinate with Ilsebar contingent to have the necessary components transported via the Tower of Babel. Of course, it will take time until the work is complete. For now, pray take your ease. It seem there is naught to do but rest and prepare, shall we? Ere we depart, we must leave nothing undone. Quite, though it is difficult to conceive of how one can best prepare to brave a domain where Dynamis governs all. Nevertheless, Hydland deemed us worthy of the trials that await. For lack of any other feasible options at this late stage, let us trust in her judgment and face Metion as we are. Which leaves the not-so-small task of coordinating our efforts here to you and Tataru. If all goes to plan, we'll be back before you know it. Certainly hope so. We'll be praying for your safe return. Mayhap it will affect the Dynamis for the better. That settled, we should get some rest and make the most of the time we've been afforded. Hmm? Meeting's over, is it? You were in there for so long, I started to worry. What did they have to say? The edge of creation, I see. Rest assured, everything will remain in order until you return, and you will return. Actually, could I borrow you for a moment? It's like your plans for the interim are decided. When the two of you have finished, meet us back at the Baldazian Annex, all right? Come with me to the Agora. I have something to show you. Welcome to Tataru's Taru's Boutique. I have always done my best to provide the signs of fashionable attire, but in your case specifically, I make an extra effort to strive for the most functional yet stylish clothing one could ask for. Not that I'm playing favorites, but you are the warrior of light. Faced with this unprecedented crisis, I knew you would need an ensemble unlike anything I've created before, and that I wouldn't be able to do, so, do it alone. So after enlisting the aid of the world's finest artisans, I finally completed my career-defining masterpiece. Then inspiration struck, and I saw a golden opportunity just begging to be seized. Help of some Thavnarian refugees had decided to set up shop here in Charlian. Of course, I would never charge you for any of our works. Perish the thought. Barsarud, how are things coming along? Everything is in order, Mistress Tataru. We'll be ready to open shortly. Is why I brought you here to be our very first patron. Would you mind waiting here a moment longer? The following event cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. Wait for Tataru's boutique to open. Yes.
I did not expect to find you here. I imagine Nadano would also wish to offer her regards. Alas, after delivering our dragon scales to the engineer, she remained to assist with their work on the ether burner. The simulacrum, too, will stay in Charlian while I oversee matters at Ratatang. It's a rather convenient means to keep abreast of developments pertaining to the final days or anything else. It also allows me, after a fashion, to watch over my people in this distant land. Oh, Sean, I was hoping you'd stop by. I can't thank you enough for allowing your artisans to work with me here at the boutique. Please, it is I who should be thanking you. This establishment has restored a sense of normalcy to their lives. You have blessed them with newfound purpose and a means by which to support themselves in these troubled times. What's more, when they at last return home to Razatan, the experience and knowledge they have gained in your employ will no doubt prove a boon to the artistry and commence com commerce of our land. Ugh. In fact, I came here to see how your new employees are settling in. And to express my gratitude for granting them this opportunity. It's an opportunity for me as well, believe you me. Your artisans have taught me so much about that Narian craftsmanship. Their resourcefulness and ingenuity are nothing short of inspiring. Can't wait to see what kind of wonders we come up with. I pray you every success in your endeavors, Mistress Tataru. Before coming here, I heard word of the forum's decision of what will soon be attempted. It was only then that I finally understood why my father called this star the last bastion of hope. Indeed, it was the last bastion, for the flame of every other star he encountered had likely been extinguished. In the boundless dark, the light of brimming life must have been blinding in its splendor. You journey unto the heavens to protect that light. May the scales of my kin serve you well. Have faith you will prevail and restore peace and tranquility to this star. Would that Iwan were alive to see it. I'd like to visit Razatan again when this is all over. I worry your faith in me may be misplaced. I will not see his sacrifice squandered, nor shall I rest until Razatan is returned to its former glory. Forgive me, but I must take my leave. Fare you well, and remember, the people of this star have not yet given up hope, and neither must you. Oh, where must I go to get a meal with some flavor in this wasteland of taste? Elaine. Oh, girl, my, whatever are you doing here? New boutique, you say? Hmm, I had been meaning to expand my wardrobe. Yes, something with a little more flair, perhaps befitting a man of my station. Though I have nowhere to flaunt, said Raymond, so, so long as my confinement continues indefinitely. I, the young Lord Fortom, insists that so long as there is work to be done, no matter how trivial, I must abide here in Charlian. Thus do I toil through every fiber of my being rails against it. I, I've even suffered the company of that brute Sicard to see supplies transported in a timely fashion. Yet he was the one granted leave this morning to participate in some supposed covert operation. So I suffer instead for his otherwise welcome absence, now burdened with extra busy work, and without Honoroit here, there is no one to prepare my meals. Came here in the hopes of finding a nice cafe, perhaps. Alas, the Charlian delicacies I've sampled were lacking in every respect. If you tried the Archon loaf, you can find it in all the shops. If already meal is what you're after, I suggest the last stand. Cafe over on the pier, their cuisine didn't appear all that appetizing, but if you vouch for their cooking, then perhaps I will give it a try. Thank you for the suggestion, and ta-ta for now, old girl.
Oh well, is that Zillion Tatari I spy? Hancock, what are you still doing here? You said you were returning immediately after dropping off your cargo. Yes, that was my original plan. After all, any expertise required aside from the delivery of goods is well beyond my purview. But what manner of entrepreneur would squander an opportunity to study the markets of the Northern Seas? Worry not, I will return straight ways to Kugane once I have finished. Of course you would find a way to turn this crisis to your advantage. She wounds me, the industrious woman running a new boutique. I am not blind to the travails of those who fight on the front lines to deliver us from ruin. Indeed, I have every confidence they will succeed, and I would make myself and my business ready for their return. If you believe in them so devoutly, then why not put your money where your mouth is? Fair enough, Tadaru, fair enough. There's not more I can do to help ready the Ark and her heroes for their maiden voyage, but on your return I shall host a grand celebration in your honor at the Cairo Inn. Accommodations are quite costly given the reputation of said establishment, but the East Aldenar Trading Company would be honored to put the bill. I appreciate the gesture, but no thank you. Will there be lemon cakes? Oh, a woman of tart taste, I see. Yes, there will be lemon cakes and much, much more. The finest delicacies the world and the and Lord Lolorito have to offer. But let us speak more of this upon your return, lest I draw even more of Tataru's ire. Till next we meet. Decided to spend your time at the markets, did you? Pigs wed. Tataru! Pigs wedge! I take it work on the Ark proceeds apace? Aye, it does indeed. Collaborating with the greatest minds of Charlien and Razatan has been a rewarding experience, and that's to say nothing of what we've learned from the Loperitz. The Ark is unlike anything we've ever had the pleasure to work on. Even Nero was rendered speechless on more than one occasion. Can't wait for you to see it. You'll never guess who paid us a visit before we came to Charlien. Alpha! I think he sensed the coming danger and returned to check on us. He was always one to turn up in the time of need, and suppose that's why he decided to join us here in Charlie. And good thing, too, I don't know how he does it, but he has a knack for brightening your day just by being there. So hard to believe we have the means to send you off into the great expanse, though, to the farthest known reaches of, well, everything. Never thought I'd live to see such marvels, yet here I am. More often than not, you and the Scions are a catalyst that sparks the need for these great innovations, to think how much I've missed out on had I not been a member of the Ironworks. An awful lot of work, to be fair, and the privilege of being worked like a cart chocobo. Ah, there is that, too. As busy as we've been, I wish there was more we could do for you. But no matter what happens, we have to keep believing for a brighter future. That we do, my friend, that we do, and one filled with even more adventure. When you head back, would you tell the engineers I'll be along shortly with refreshments? Very kind of you, Tataru, but they'll be glad to hear it, and on that note, Wedge and I should get going. Still a few more supplies to gather before we return. Terribly sorry for the wait. Right this way, if you please.
Right, I don't believe the two of you have been formally introduced. This is Varsarud from Palakistan. Pleased to meet you. Haven't we met before? Ah, yes, it was you who helped us at Perusa and again when crossing the ice fields, was it not? Yeah, we exchanged a little more than glances then, but it's kind of you to remember me. Thanks to Mistress Tataru, I and many of my friends have found gainful employment in this foreign land. It's only natural to feel fear in the face of calamity, and such times we must look to one another for strength and succor. I know not whether we will come to call this place home or return to Thavnair, but we are here today and are glad to have contributed to the cause. The contribute they did by helping to make your new garments as durable as possible. We put our hearts and souls into them and I have every confidence they'll keep you safe in the battle to come. Gods, to think how far we've come since our humble beginnings at the waking sands. From the rising stones to the falling snows, and even a certain insufferable someone's ruby bazaar, we were always fortunate to find friends along the way. Even when you were swept away to the first, Gratia was there to grant you sanctuary. I'll never forget the relief I felt when you all returned to us. I thought my heart would burst. Yours has been a long, long journey, and I've been privileged to watch, often with bated breath, as you per persevered time and again. For all the joy we've shared, there's been much sorrow as well, but I've long since learned you can't have one without the other. This is why I promise to send you off to the Sea of Stars with a smile. You can be certain I'll be the first one to welcome you back on your return. In addition to you, new ensemble, we have raiments and weaponry for every need, so please feel free to browse our stock. Level 89, a bold decision, complete. You may now obtain job-specific gear from Vosaru. Weapons and gear obtained can be equipped at level 89, however, all item stats will be subject to item level sync. On reaching level 90 with the corresponding job, these items will no longer be synced. Furthermore, the gear can be died upon completion of the role quest associated with said job. Let's see what they look like, at least. Yeah, they don't glow. What's Astro look like? That's what we have. Urban. Okay. Those aren't bad. It's a shame they're only for, um, one job. Alright. Level 89, friends gathered. Though delighted by your patronage, Tataru is ready to send you on your way. I realize you've still got lots to do before you depart, so I won't keep you any longer. I do hope you can find a moment for yourself, and that the others can as well. They said they were returning to the Baldesian Annex, though I doubt they stayed for long. If you decide to go looking for them, I suggest speaking with Pryle first. I'm sure they would have told her their plans. Did we have done the roll quest first? I think there's an extra scene if you do them first, but I prefer to do that afterwards. You're back. I take it you received your gift from Tataru? Do 
It was a surprise long in the making, with many, many long hours of fretting to get everything just right. I'm glad to see it realized, and with great success. You're looking for the others, though? They've already taken their leave. Sola, Thancred, and Nurianje have gone to the last stand for a bite to eat. Alizé Grahatia, meanwhile, thought their time would be better spent poring over books at the Numenon. For Alvinod and Astinian, well, they've elected to pay a visit to the Levier estate, though Astinian seems somewhat reluctant to go. I'm sure they would all be glad for your company if you have a mind to seek them out. If you'd be feeling peckish, I suggest heading to the last stand before Stola and the others finish eating. But above all else, it would be foolish to run headlong into battle a fatigued mess, so do remember to get a good night's sleep. to make a trio a quartet, have you? Please, have a seat, and we'll see about getting you a drink. Your business with Tatari was finished. My, what a thoughtful surprise. Hmm. Whatever would we do without her? Indeed. And she's right, you know. It hasn't been all doom and gloom. Feels like a lifetime ago that Master Louis Soir gathered us together to form the Circle of Knowing. Since then, we have experienced much. But rather than feeling wiser, the more I learn, the more I find my knowledge lacking. Forsooth. As a student, vainly did I believe that I held the secrets of creation in my grasp. Yet that which I had seized was but an insignificant sliver of what awaited in the wider world. Every encounter, every experience hath served to open mine eyes, enlightening and humbling me in equal measure. Even from those whom I called enemies have I learned many a valuable lesson. What will we learn at the edge of the universe, I wonder? Ultima Thule, where the bringer of the end makes her nest. <laughs> I, for one, can't possibly imagine. But whatever awaits us there, we will survive. We must. For her. Yeah, you've nothing left to prove. Not not to Rene nor Menphilia. We'll get through this together. Make sure you bring enough ammunition. <laughs> Is what the matter? No, it's nothing. I just... Well, lately I find myself surprised at how much I've changed. How much we've all changed. <laughs> we've come far together. And if we have aught to say about it, we'll go further still. Aye, we will avert this calamity and return home. In preparation for which, we must give thought to what we hope to achieve after the proverbial dust is settled. What with the primals and Asians all but dealt with, I suppose we'll need to look for new hobbies. In all seriousness, though. In uniting to overcome a common foe, the disparate peoples of the world have found a way forward together. It's a truly gratifying sight to see. Indeed. Though it was many years in the making, we have successfully set in motion the gears of fundamental change. With this, 
We have fulfilled our humble role as a symbol of hope. And I dare say it is time to bow out. After all, there is no shortage of hands to bear the torch in our stead. You know, I never really considered I might live long enough to see an after. <laughs> but even if my time as a scion came to an end, I don't expect that much would change. Traveling the world, going wherever the wind blows, lending a hand to those in need. A journey for journey's sake. It doth suit thee well. I must confess, I too have yearned to see more of the world. If thou art amenable to the suggestion, I would accompany thee. Mine ability to affect an air of normalcy through artful disguise is much improved, thou must concede. <laughs> Aye, well, improvement is relative. You still look suspicious no matter what you wear. <laughs> what of you, Ishdola? Any grand plans? Why, continue my quest for knowledge, naturally. To begin with, I wish to know the state of the reflections. To which end I must find a means to travel between worlds. Tis the least I must do if I am to keep my promise. Should my pursuits prove unduly arduous, I won't hesitate to call on you. And in return, I will take you to see Reen one day. I'm sure you cannot wait to see the fine young woman she has become. Spare me. And what of thee? What wouldst thou pursue at duty's end? Here's yours. My apologies for the wait. Well, shall we make a toast? To victory. Right. To our comrades. To the future of the star. Leaving so soon? I suppose it's for the best. If you'd rather not explore the bottom of the bottle with Arianje, they would say the others would welcome your company as well, if you can find them, that is. In any case, as long as you make the most of your time, then that is all that matters. First. Oh, what brings you here? I don't think I've ever seen him out of gear, except when he was ah, injured. So you were worried that the Levia household might again be gripped by turmoil. <laughs> All is well, I assure you. In my letters home, I had made mention of a Stimian, you see. My mother wished to meet the legend in person, and so we arranged to have a spot of tea together. Where were you in my hour of need? Fell beasts I can face, 
I'm not made for idle chit chat with lords and ladies. <laughs> well, I for one thought you held your own. Mother was the picture of delight. <laughs> I might have been delighted myself. Were we in a tavern with more agreeable drink? <laughs> the thought of fleeing crossed my mind. But what then? I'd never hear the end of it. Least of all from Tataru. I'm sorry. It was not my intent to cause you such distress. It's just... It was one of the things I didn't want to leave undone ere we set forth. That's not to say I think we won't be returning. Yet, given what lies ahead, I did not wish to leave for later that which I could do today. After all, tomorrow is never promised. It's fine. Not like I had better things to do. <laughs> Besides, seeing you with your mother brought back fond memories of my own. Be we rich or poor, family is family. Well, it's past time we were on our way. Wait. Since I left home, I've made a great many mistakes. Mistakes for which I can never make amends. But through it all, you didn't give up on me. To have returned here with you at my side, it means more to me than you know. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. <sighs> Forgive me, but it needed to be said. I'm the one who owes you thanks. Were it not for you, I would not be alive today. Nor come to terms with Nidhogg's spirit. I am ever grateful. I suppose I ought to thank you both as well. You were never one to forsake a friend, Alvinod. I'll be counting on you. I'm having sentimental moments. Well, we needn't make it a competition. You know, this must be what Heidelin meant when she spoke about depending on one another. However treacherous the road before us, together we will prevail. I tried speaking with Alizé, but she is fast asleep.
<laughs> Knowing them, they're probably dreaming about the celestial adventures to come. Just as well. They've been running themselves ragged of late. Unlike you and the others, I'm a few steps removed from the danger and excitement. The things you all get up to never fail to impress me. But by the same token, I can't help but worry. Not only for your safety, but, but for your happiness. After everything you've sacrificed, you earned it a thousand times over. From the simple pleasures of tucking into a hearty meal or, or collapsing into a comfortable bed, to the grand triumphs of visiting legendary lands or finding true love. You deserve all the joy in the world. There is so much that life has to offer. So much to be treasured and shared with those we hold dear. So promise me this. Come what may, you won't give up on your own happiness. When you're out there fighting tooth and nail, it's all too easy to forget. But in the end, your passions will be your greatest strength of all. Remember that. Oh, this feels familiar. Well, it is good to be. Uh, wait, what are you, what am I, gods, don't tell me I fell asleep. Not that there's any shame in it, but you were sleeping like babies. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. Not a word to anyone. Understood? Not one word. I'm told that sleeping in proper beds of your own choosing is a much more effective way to prepare for battle. Oh. So, what were the two of you doing here? I had a few books to return to the library. Thought I'd take care of it while I could. And you? The secret. Just enjoying a little peace and quiet. Nothing in particular. Welcome back. Return to catch a few final few winks before embarking on your mission, I presume. You'd be happy to know your chambers have been cleaned and fresh linens laid out. Pray you enjoy the sweetest dreams on this final night before the big day. Tower to your chambers? Yes. Level 89. Friends gathered. Complete. At night at the Royal Menagerie in Alamigo,
what you want. Not even the battle you pine for so dearly. He did remember. In that transcendent moment, what was it that I sought in you? What was it that you sought in me? Thus it dawned. The day of reckoning. How often have we thus assembled to combine our knowledge and seek solutions to the problems before us? Back at the Waking Sands, it was all we could do to address the most minor of troubles. Who could have realized what we'd find when we began to look to the sources of the realm's woes? At the Rising Stones, we made great strides and shared many moments. From the joyous to the sorrowful. We've had occasion to call other places home too. Be it Ishgard or Kugane, we were fortunate to find sanctuary wherein we might take stock and continue our fight. I was honored to host this company in the Crystarium. To stand with you all as we confronted the truth of the star itself. And now from this place, we go to fight the most important battle of all. The Forum has sent word. The Ark is ready. The Lothriots naturally will be commanding the vessel. They will see the eight of you to Ultima Thor. Upon arriving, your objective is to find and vanquish Meteon. As a final formality, the Forum bade me ascertain your resolve. So, are you certain you wish to do this? We are. Then, ere you report to Thalmasane, I leave you with these words. You must triumph. What that means will differ for each of you. To make it back home, or to simply avert doom, or perhaps something else altogether. Yet whatever it is that drives you, 
I have faith in its power to see you through. So please, triumph. Triumph, as we who remain behind believe you will. Let us be off then. Let's do it. Wait. Both Kryl and I will be there to see you off, but as your receptionist, I feel I need to say this here. Safe journey, all of you, and oh, be safe. You can count on it. You shoot, Doctor. <laughs> 